Hey. You could say this little guy is drunk as a skunk. Caught on camera stumbling around Stittsville, Julie Fong's husband saw the raccoon just behind their house and it looked like he'd had one too many. He said it was sort of stumbling along, just looking completely off as sort of uh, somebody who may have had a few extra libations would be uh, walking along us. And what did your kids think? Later that day, Fong says a bylaw officer came to their door. <laughs> Apparently, someone had called about the animal who, by that point, was sleeping it off. So there was a drunk raccoon under your deck? There was a drunk raccoon under our deck. No, the raccoons haven't been visiting the local bar. They've more likely been overindulging on fermented fruit, according to one Ottawa naturalist. He didn't examine the raccoons, but says there's an abundance of fruit falling from trees this year. And it's possible that some of the fruit is fermenting um, under the heat and that uh, these guys are getting a bit tipsy by eating that fermenting fruit. It was laying just over in that area. Susan and Mayo also saw an alleged inebriate snoozing in her neighbor's backyard. It didn't even move when I came close to it. And then it would sort of like just kind of sit up, didn't move its back legs at all, and then flop over and literally look like it was going back to sleep. The animal stayed mostly still for hours until the homeowners called 311 and bylaw officers came to pick it up. He couldn't really move, he was dragging his legs, he was wobbling, having a hard time standing up. You could tell something was wrong with him, for sure. Now the city says residents with concerns can call 311 and a vet will assess what, if any, treatment is required. Because in this case, coffee might not be the answer. Robin Miller, CBC News, Ottawa.